My Academia, Season 7, Episode 15. What do we do now? If heroes win here, what happens to us? They will hate us. Yeah, they, they probably will. At this point, I mean, whatever Spinner says, it's sort of a little bit late for the group, it feels, if you're resorting to listening to Spinner. Spinner in this state. We can't keep this up. This is where it crossed the line. This is where it really crossed the line. Though, yeah, it cuts away, right? This is my academia. I have a feeling that's a fake out. Because if they actually use guns to shoot them, something really important has been lost. Kurugiri's quirk will decide the winner of this conflict. For Tomura's sake, you must become our hero. Right, it's for Tomura. They kept every person there out of harm's way and protected innocent bystanders. What that's really you? hard. Are you going to do that too? I think a lot of people would. You have all this pain, you have all this anger, you've experienced terrible things in your life. You want to fix it, but fixing it is a very complicated problem. You go down that road, you start to lose the tactile feeling you have that you actually have agency in your own life. I don't know how to do it perfectly so what, I just can't do anything about it. A target emerging out of the ether is such a godsend because you have something to focus on. And maybe there actually is a really a target. Maybe there is something that you can do. There likely are terrible actors out there, but you haven't escaped the difficulty because you've now cast a very wide net. Is it really everyone that falls under that umbrella? And is everyone under that umbrella under that umbrella for the same reason? Is it all because they're terrible and are deliberately doing terrible? things? Could they perhaps also be victims of their environment? Could they have a different take on what the solution is, even though they care just as much about the problem? But all those things are frustrating because they require so much more effort. And you have all this momentum now. You finally found something you can target. You found something you can attack. This is a much broader problem that I really wish there was a solution for. I guess it's two things combined. It's that simplicity wins over complexity in terms of arguments and how they affect people's viewpoints. Simplicity just requires less work. Second, that emotion co-ops reason so that before the battleground of ideas is even set, they've already been corrupted by emotion. The way that's playing out here, Shoji and Koda's ideas are very difficult. And next, the rationale, Shoji, Koda, and I see a heteromorph standing in line with the nurses and doctors can just be written off as a traitor. Didn't think about everyone you could hurt? You better have a plan. It's so hard to reverse from here. The momentum is so powerful. Let's speak of them. Shoji's words got in. It's a very charitable crowd of people. I, I mean, I think in a lot of cases, they would just call Shoji a traitor. One of the things I've been thinking about in the show for a long time is that the, the model has to shift. It's not greatest hero and everyone supports that. And we live in this sort of happy but blind state of peaceful numbness. That's how things sort of go wrong, you know, because if you have a system where there are these villains over here who really are thinking about things and really care. And that's, you know, I don't know, 5% of the population. And you have over here just All Might or more charitably a group of heroes that really care and are really thinking about things and really want to do good. And that's 5% of the, of the population or whatever. What happens to the remaining middle? You know, they just get swayed and pushed around by whichever extreme end of those two sides is more convincing. Even when things are going really well, it seems like somewhat of a recipe for disaster because it's, it's a fragile system. If all you need to do is sway this massive group in the middle to do your bidding and that group isn't really grounded to anything, you know, not to any higher morality or a sense of duty or purpose or responsibility or larger vision. Society just swings in wild extremes. And the way these movements are driven is following basic tenets of human nature and using the things I mentioned earlier, simplicity and emotion. It's like the most useful things, most powerful things, if this is the way things are, is just very oversimplified emotional messages. These people want to destroy you and your way of life and hate everything about you, whereas we love you and want to give you everything. And that's the My Hero Academia world. That might even be charitable. Like, it could just as easily be two bad sides doing that. Just competing villainous groups and then both sides try to find their target demographic that will be most receptive to this particular brand of emotional persuasion and kind of add soldiers for their cause. The shift that's happening in this My Academia world that I think speaks to something really important is the shift to individual responsibility, where people build guards around this kind of manipulation, where people have done a really deep dive into what is important, what is the goal, what are actual values that we can treat as objective, lines that we don't cross so that we can't be pushed over the brink by one side or the other. The agency and autonomy has to be more condensed towards the center, where people care about their own lives and have real grounding to things. And at the risk of sounding cynical, though, I think it's important to think about. I think looking at it as people are just unaware of their own role is maybe sugarcoating it. I think actually people want it to be this way, maybe even subconsciously. It seems like sometimes we secretly long for an authority figure to just tell us how things should be, to guide us into the right plan of attack so that we have something to do or some feeling like we're influencing things or what have you. It's much harder to come to that on your own. I'm playing Persona 5 right now and there's this really cool underlying idea in that game of like people choose their own prisons. It's not that they're put in prison. I mean, it's a bit of both. We're born into the way things are and we acclimate to the way things are and we treat that as sort of the baseline when it may not be. It's just kind of water to fish. But I'm starting to feel another element there too, which is like, we want it that way. We want what we know. We don't want to do hard work. We don't want to like open ourselves up to full choice and responsibility and autonomy because that's like revealing yourself to the rawness of nature. We want to feel like that there are safe authoritative walls 
that know everything. I think one criticism of these episodes might be that they're kind of cherry picking. They're making a very sort of reductive case. And yet it still does reflect some truth to me. I mean, even as much as the crowd is, <laughs> Spinner, tell us what to do, you know? What are we angry about, Spinner? But I think the core theme of this reflects the broader whole of the show, which is about stop looking out there, stop thinking about the powers, stop thinking about which group it is, and do the best that you can with what you have. Yes, you can be really upset about the problems in the world, but striving to do the best you can humbly, deliberately, with full strength, without blame, without excuses, without finding easy outs to avoid doing what you have to do, to become a heroic sort of person. I never imagined that would amount to anything, but then Here I he is. Here you are. If I followed you... You did it. I You're a leader now. Somebody. Yeah, and it's totally for you. I'm sure that uh, all for one, he really cares about Spinner individually and his plight. Look at all the people behind me! It's all alone right now. I know what you want. But he won't be your secret weapon. Is it Mike? Against Spinner? In a tiny hallway, though. This, yeah, this is not Spinner's battleground. The present Mike protecting his friend. Butterfly effect. Interesting. We made it into the room. Do what you can out here. Try to stop them from coming in. Joji and Koda fighting a lonely fight, too. Brave. Really great that everyone saw that <laughs> in the middle of all their fighting. He might be channeling our anger the wrong way. Chicken Man is ever present in this series. Everyone in this society must be blamed for turning a blind eye to our suffering. Teach them a lesson. Think of how terribly you think treated. Both are true. I am thinking about it. There's truth to all of it, but it's complicated. When I first heard the call to action, it really did make me feel better. Right. He said of course it did. Silent would be evil. Finally, something to do. Chance for change. Somewhere to channel the pain. But this isn't going to help our cause. Don't matter to me. The drool really he sells it. If you're not drooling, can you even call yourself a savior? I couldn't raise my weapon against them. No one's gonna laugh at you for that, Stop man. Stop spiraling, you fool! Be rational. That octopus is becoming a problem. I don't think that word means what you think it means. Enough to become a massive meat shield for us. <laughs> That's so direct. Shut up, meat shield. How dare you think? Wow, I just came right out and said it. I think life would be a lot more fun, a lot more cool if people just said things. You know, just say what you really feel. Get out there and do my bidding, meat shields. I haven't really narrowed down my life's vision yet, but like meat shield is not one of them. I don't want to be an ideological meat shield either. And this is where my skepticism and distrust bears its fruits. So here's the thing, and this speaks to how difficult it is. Even that, right? Even like... I'm not gonna be like them. They are stupid meat shields. I'm above that. I can think more critically. It's very strongly risking being the exact same thing, just in opposition. Being in opposition to something still isn't the pursuit of nuanced truth. You're still in a sense in someone's game. It's, it's very hard to escape. It's also sort of defeating to think about it. And it's like, what are you left with? Well, you're kind of left with the things that you have in your hands and that you, you know, you know, and the things that are very remote to your life and making yourself a better person that are solely about you and who you are in your agency. The answer to me isn't full scale subservience to an idea or cause at any cost, right? It's also not like, this is all stupid, I'm better than this. I don't care. I'm smarter than everyone, you know? Which is just oh so easy to fall into for exactly the same reasons. Like heroism, it's a never ending process. You never arrive and you sort of have to stomach that and be okay with it and, and see it as your duty, I think. Should I have just stayed quiet at home and hope for the best? No, your feelings are valid. Right, also true. Wrong for wanting to change the world for the better. Right. Despite your pain, you didn't lose your head. I think it can't be understated how difficult that is in that moment to turn around. This is it. No one's behind me. I'm a failure. I still have hope for Spinner. I'm still completely empty. For years, I had nothing. I was hollow inside. So when passion filled me, I took a stand. This is really it. It almost seems like humans are just vessels waiting to be filled with purpose, but not all purposes are created equal, and there will be a purpose. To lift him up and stand by him. It's a chain. I mean, all for one did that to Shigaraki in a similar way. I don't want to do this, but Shirakumo, forgive me. My buddy's already lost an eye and a leg. He's lucky to have only lost that. Don't murder your friend, bro. I don't want that for you. Oh, Leek? I played that too. By myself. I played alone, yeah. Go save Shigaraki and the others! Shiraku! Did Spinner just is Spinner gonna get the burn of this? Maybe not, maybe he can save Spinner too. I am the one who will protect Tomura Shigaraki. Okay, that's uh, a little bit disheartening. Spinner just die. A tragic life. If so, for what? 
We're breaking more on the clouds that suddenly... the weather who is tuning into weather right now we expect these storms to affect us in north america oh wait i know why they're tuning into weather right now <laughs> tell me more about the scattered thunderstorms or whatever it was you just said what we're seeing oh, it's america is a meteorological anomaly According to the National Weather Service... Wow, they changed the worldwide weather. If a butterfly beats its wings in Brazil... The butterfly effect. Does that lead to a hurricane in Texas? This is more than just about so weather, human though. human society, which began with a single glowing baby, caused the end of life as we know it? One person has the power to change the world. Meryl, read the teleprompter. Humanity must act. Oh, wow, she's taking a stand. This is not weather. America's still in this somehow. <laughs> that was such a seamless transition, too, from the weather. It actually was more than the weather, but also thematically it's more than the weather. Because the whole thing of can one baby destroy the world, it likely depends on the algorithm I was describing before. So what is the breakdown of, like, choosers to reactors, of leaders to followers? Hypothetically, at an extreme end, if that relationship is very pronounced, it only would take one person to get everyone under their thumb, to do all manner of terrible things. Or great things, but the terrible seems much more likely. And even if there's a great one now, eventually there will be a terrible one. One, which will undo all the greatness because things can fall faster than they can climb. So rather than like bet on that, you can skew the ratio so that there are more deciders, there are more choosers, more leaders in that middle so that that unthinking valueless I go wherever the wind blows section of society gets so small, they don't have as much power anymore over, over the whole. And that probably is an individual journey because you can't force other people there, but you certainly can get yourself there. And then that's your part. That's your contribution. I feel so strongly about this looking at the Shoji situation. He ended up swaying the crowd, but the way I look at it, even if he didn't, he he's kind of complete or, or clean in a way, if that makes sense because he did everything he possibly could. If genuinely that's what's going on, I think there's a sort of universal acknowledgement. You've won even if it seems like you've lost. You've done the best possible thing you could do and you extended the, the reach of your own influence. Everything actionable that could have been done was actioned and you can hold your head high in that at least. Unreal. We're going back to Todoroki's. You can't go after him, Todoroki. He'll burn you up as well. It's gotta be Endeavor, right, at this point? I just have to keep fighting and push past my own. Noble but tough. Why am I not rallying the same way? So, the old man's a Gunga? Damn warp trap. I'm too far away to reach him. If I keep trying to destroy Shoto... They can't even see him. I've got some good news for you, Mr. Daddy Issues. <laughs> Oh, there it is. The whole landscape just completely changed. I just had a thought. This will be in the history books, right? <laughs> it's the Hanuma. Whatever keeps you going. The million, Janus, Midoriya, they're doing everything they can. Right. Then all I gotta do is not blink, please. There's no way I get to complain about that. Oh, this is one of those episodes, isn't it? This is the episode where everything turns around for the worst. I put faith in people's emotions. All for one has a reveal. I was just saying that. <laughs> hey there. Endeavor, you know, thank God he's at full strength, full HP. Oh, hawks. What? When this poor man was murdered, it filled a girl with rage. Oh, it's Toga. Great. That's good. That's fine. If you hadn't prioritized taking that broken soul off the board. This is how the last battle would have ended. Destroy the clones! Do it now! I think maybe it's too late for that. It's happening nationwide, maybe even worldwide. Oh, what happened to- Rocky, Yeah, they must have been incapacitated for her to be here. Or maybe she just jumped through the Kokiri warp hole. No super regeneration here. We're eating away at their numbers. If we can hold back the near high ends, our mission will be complete. Gang Orca just clean it up, but Kogiri is coming. Up until now, Kimiko Toga never acted with a broader strategy in mind. She simply did whatever she wanted to do. However, the animosity and resignation that recently took seat within her is transformed it's really, really this girl cool. into a full-fledged villain. Yeah, thinking back, I mean, she's changed so much since the beginning of the show. Initially, it just seemed like she was there for the lols. Say what you want about All for One. He really knows his stuff. All of this is from him. It flows from him understanding people's motivations. What makes people tick. The gravitation towards purpose. How tightly linked emotion is to purpose. And he played it more masterfully than the heroes. Which actually, I mean, this is an example of a hero doing something they think is for society and that coming back to bite them in the ass. All Might bears some responsibility for this as well. In a roundabout way. You know, he was trying to be the good version of that, like, give me everything. 
and I'll do everything. It wasn't you need to take responsibility and you can be a hero yourself even without this level of quirks. It's no, no, just just let me worry about that. You just live your life. Everything is fine. I am always here. I mean, he's a beautiful godlike person and just this glowing ideal of what a person can be and can become and can strive for. And if everyone were All Might, none of this would have happened. But like I said before, the answer is not putting all your hopes and dreams and faith and security and future into one person, no matter how great they seem. I think it's trying to get as close to that yourself in whatever way that is realistic for you, given your circumstances and natural gifts and weaknesses, etc. All for one came in and just gained the system, but it was a system that everyone was kind of accepting. I won't wait around to find out. What? Sue never loses her cool. That's why I grabbed a decoy first. Okay. You just got doused in a chemical all for one gave me that attracts no moon. That was a very high level, sophisticated maneuver, banking on a lot of very specific things. Just then. Just instantaneous and perfect timing. I want to kill Hawks, then slaughter every other hero. She has a lot of power to do that. She can. I wonder if she suffers from the same problem twice suffer from now. We still haven't had our talk about boys and romance. Now it seems like you're gonna have to do a lot of individual talks one by one. I wish we could have. It's Toga. She had some of my Gore's blood. Just keep coming. Let's continue his march of despair. Infinite doubles! Sad man's death parade! Also really interesting that Dobby is sort of an outlier from All For One's mission. He never fully bought the party line, but here he is dealing this devastating stroke. The man is actually a believer. He, he wasn't manipulated here. He, he was here already. We'll make sure we keep laughing. Forever. Mm, I get the feeling that things have slightly shifted in favor of the villains. And All For One still hasn't done his reveal yet. It was already bad enough that he became handsome. It's absolute chaos. I love it though. So I think Spinner's dead, which... Uh, what a cruel, like, Faustian victory. He got what he wanted, but it feels so pointless. We can see the author also loves the villains. I mean, it's been clear for so long, but... I mean, I think you can separate. A lot of this is the battle for the hearts and minds of people. All For One plays that masterfully. But the villains themselves, while this is all going on, have woken up and become more powerful due to things that are actually good, which ends up reinforcing and making them stronger in their villainy. So they actually are really beautiful in their friendships and their loyalty to each other. Even from someone like Dobby, who is just this contempt-filled ball of fire, made this gesture towards Toga, which you might argue he just did to plant the seeds of destruction and chaos, but it seems highly likely he actually did it for Toga and maybe even wanted to honor twice his legacy. Spinner, like, I don't know, it seems like in his last moments he sort of threw away the, the hatred thing and was leaning more on tribute and service to Shigaraki, with whom he shared a lot of common experiences and feelings. To Shogi's point earlier in the episode, it's a lot of things at once. It's not that other people are innocent. It's not that society is so great and we're the bad ones. It's both that there are ills and evils in society and there are people who do terrible things for terrible reasons. And also that you have a responsibility and you don't want to do terrible things yourself. In this example, the villains are doing terrible things. It's not that the hero society was perfect or that it didn't create terrible things for, for them and for many others. And it's not that the heroes, by virtue of their side, always get things right or always do the right thing. Like, I, mean, I still maintain, I guess somewhat controversially, that Hawk's killing twice was wrong. Toga's pain is very real and from her perspective, it's, it's an injustice. It was just a murder. It doesn't make what she's doing right. But it does give some sort of power, energetic power, to her cause. Which, of course, is thrilling to all for one, who seems to have understood the game better than anyone.